Now that you have a slight idea what regression analysis is, let's keep going. Remember what regression analysis does. We have one dependent variable and we have one or a set of independent variables. The value of the dependent variable depends to some degree on the values taken by the independent variables. If we only have one dependent and one independent variable, we could simply do a scatter plot and draw a straight line through our cloud of observations that minimizes the squared distances of the points from the line. You could have much more than one independent variable, but if, if you have more than one, it's pretty hard to draw and impossible if you have more than two. Um, but the idea doesn't change if you increase the number of independent variables. Now let's draw another scatter plot. So you have your axes, your y axis and your x axis. Oh. So x and y, and remember x is the explanatory variable, y is the um, dependent variable. Then you have your observations in here, so it would look something like this. Okay, great. Um, now, um, let's fit a line that minimizes the squared distances from the line. So let's fit a line that minimizes the squared distances from the line. Okay, this is not a straight line, but, but it's okay. Okay, but now what? Um, now that we fit our line, we can describe it by a simple linear equation. Um, the simple linear regression line with one dependent and one independent variable looks like this. Okay, now let's look at this symbol by symbol. First you see y with some sort of hat on top of it. Um, why did we put a y there? You might remember that by convention y is called the dependent variable. Um, this could be any variable you want. Household spending, number of children, GDP, whatever you like to explain. Um, but why is there a hat on top of it? Um, the entire equation represents our straight line. So the entire equation represents our straight line. So we can calculate the exact position of our line. This is y, the, the position of our line is y. Given the value of our independent variable, this is x, x is our independent variable. But since our line is only a simplification of reality, a model, we call it y hat and not y, because y is the real value. y hat is only the simplified y in our model. So y hat equals the position of our line given the value of our independent variable. The next letter is called alpha. Um, alpha is a constant. Most of the time this constant is not of interest. This is the position our line will take if the value of our independent value is zero. Uh, variable, not value, sorry. Um, this right here is beta. Um, beta is the coefficient for the value of x and x is our independent variable. Um, so if you want to know the position of our line given a certain x value, we need to multiply the x value with the constant coefficient. So we got to multiply x with the coefficient, beta. Um, now let's do a simple example in order to understand this. In order to get the regression equation, you'd have to give r a dependent and independent variable. After you've done this, I would give you back a line that minimizes the squared distances from the line. So the line might be represented in the following uh, equation. So y hat equals 3.35 plus 1.34 times x. And um, what do we make of this? Well, this is our model. Let's say you want to know the value of y if x is 5. What do you do? Simply put 5 into the equation. So um, this would be equal to y hat equal to 3.35 plus 1.34 times 5, because we want to know the value of y if x is 5. Um, and this is equal to, so y hat is equal to 10.05. Um, so your model tells you that if x is equal to 5, y will be equal to 10.05. And you can do that with all possible values. So again, if you didn't get that, don't worry, it will become clearer as soon as we do some real-world examples.